Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the Louis Vuitton twist mini bag. Let's get into that. Now, if you like this kind of content, if you love fashion, a little bit of luxury and some lifestyle, be sure to subscribe, hit that ring bell notification so you could be notified every single time I upload a video, which is Sunday and Wednesday. Let's get started. This is my Louis Vuitton twist mini bag. It currently retails for 3,800 USD. I wanted to make this video because I've had it for about six months. I received it as a Mother's Day present and I wanna make a video to give you some information. If you're interested in this bag, you can closely see all the details and my thoughts on this bag. So the first thing that I wanna give you is just some basic information. For example, the height of this bag is 4.9. The length of this bag is 6.1 and this width here is 2.8. Another thing, this strap, if you hang it on your shoulder, the drop is 10.6, and if you let it go completely, it's going to be 20.1. So that is some basic information about that. This is the signature turn lock, and this here that you see, this base is called the wave. And the reason that the wave was created was to give this mini bag some extra room so you can fit everything you need when you're taking your mini bag out. Now, let's open the bag. Immediately when you open the bag, you see this black interior. This black interior is microfiber. It has a little pocket area here, which is the only pocket, and when you pull it out, the beautiful thing about the twist bags is that they give you this little mirror. I haven't peeled off my sticker off of mine, but you get the mirror with it, which is, I think, a very luxe touch. And then you see all, this is just one big open space, and you can fit a lot of things. I'm gonna show you what fits in here. Okay, I would love to give you a tour of the bag. Let me show you the chain detail. Like I said, you can wear it like this on your shoulder or you could use it the long way cross body. If you check out this leather strap here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris. I want you to take a good look to see if it's something that you're interested in and check out the chain. It's beautiful and if you look here, this is like a D-shaped ring, and you can see all the details of the bag. Before I purchase a bag, I like to see videos so I can see exactly what it's gonna look like. You turn it around. This is that epigrained leather, so it's very, very resistant to a lot of scratching. This is the back of it. This is the front. You see here, and you have to line them up together to be able to shut it and then this is the wave bottom. So that was a tour of this beautiful bag. I wanna show you what fits in this guy. I'm using my mini bag. I only bring the bare essentials. I mean, it's a mini bag. You cannot bring so much. And I have five items that are a must for me when I'm going out for a day. Now, the first thing, of course, we all need to bring our phones. And this is the iPhone 11. I'm gonna place that inside and that fits perfectly. The next item, I'm gonna bring a mini wallet or a card holder and that also fits perfectly. I'm gonna bring my car key so that fits in there perfectly. I'm gonna bring a lip gloss, have to have my Fenty Glow. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna throw that one in top. And then last but not least, I always have an extra disposable mask just in case I need to freshen up the one that I'm wearing. And all of that is gonna fit perfectly in there so that's all i would bring and i think pretty much that's all you can fit in you can maybe replace items with something else that you prefer to bring but those are my items that i bring now let's go over that again i have my mask i have a lip gloss i have my phone very important and a card case which is this little one here that i have from gucci and my car key so those are all the items and they fit perfectly. No need to struggle to shut that with those items. I wanna start with discussing some of the pros that I have found about this bag, and then I'm gonna to talk to you about the cons. Now for the pros, the very, very first one that I think is super important is that it holds its shape. I love when a bag holds its shape. You don't need to purchase a shaper. It's 
going to hold its shape on its own and I love that. The second pro that I found about this bag is that you can wear both crossbody and on your shoulder. That's nice to have that alternative. The third pro that I found about this bag is that it doesn't scratch very easily. It's very, very resistant to scratch. I have many other mini bags that I must be super careful with or else they're going to end up scratched by my nails by accident. So that is another pro. Now, another pro that I found about this bag is that it is super eye-catching. Every time I wear this bag, somebody takes another look and asks me, what size is that? What color is that? So definitely, definitely a head turner. Now, my last pro, and it is a good one, is that this size lends itself to day and night. It is equivalent to the Chanel Mini. You know, some bags are too big to go out at night and some bags are too small to be out in the day. This one can be out day and night. It's the perfect size for that. I wanna to talk to you now about the cons because where there's pros, there's always going to be cons. So I only came up with three cons and the first con to this bag, it just has to do with my bag. I chose the gold one and because I chose the gold one, it makes this bag a little bit more special occasion or evening. Now, if you choose a neutral color, you choose black, that's not gonna be an issue, but because I chose gold, I had to be extra, it tends to be more of a special occasion or evening bag. Another con that I found with this bag is that you cannot bring more than your basic essentials. You can just bring what you need, not that much extra. You're not bringing a bottle of water in here. And my third con is that you cannot detach the strap and give yourself a different strap. You get what you get, and that was the three cons that I was able, they're not so bad, they're not that bad. Another topic that's important when you're deciding to buy a bag that's on the pricier side is wear and tear. I have owned this bag for six months. It's been with me on vacation to Turks and Caicos. I've taken it out many times for sushi night and it looks exactly the same. A lot of the times there's concern about the hardware having like hairline scratches. I haven't found that to be the case. And I own this bag in the black epi leather in the mm which i have a whole video reviewing that bag as well you want to check it out and the same issue with that bag i've had it for over two years and still looks like the day i purchased it so the wear and tear has been amazing i am really really satisfied and i think this is becoming my silhouette of choice because of how sturdy and stunning it is weight of the bag that is a topic that is often a concern how heavy is this bag now i'm going to tell you that you definitely know you have this bag on but is it making a dent in your shoulder not at all i think this bag is normally weighing what a bag is supposed to it is not too heavy it's not like you don't know it's there so it's nothing to be concerned about now, I always like to include in my video, would I purchase another twist bag? Absolutely, a thousand percent yes. I have seen the one that has a handle. <gasps> I love that one. And I would love to add a PM twist to my collection. I have the MM, I have the mini, and now the PM would be the perfect addition. And that handle is calling my name. The twist bag with the handle in the caramel color, ooh. You're looking good. For reference, I'm 5'2", and I'm gonna show you some mod shots so you can see where it lands on my frame. I'm gonna do it on my shoulder, and I'm gonna do it crossbody so you can see, if you're interested in this bag, what it looks like on me.
I hope you enjoyed this quick video where I reviewed the Twist Mini. Let me know if you have any questions about the bag. Please, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.